Oh, she doesn't want a leash. Okay. That's nice. Early game is going to be... Dude, honestly, early and mid game is going to be kind of tough. I really lane is just kind of tough early, and then they have global pressure with Nocturne Karthus. So I have to, like, really think about when I go for plays. Got to be, like, a little bit extra scared this game. Ever take I really versus Ignite? Uh, not usually. I probably will get a Bramble later, though. It's pretty nice, this game. One for one in the mid lane. Yasuo gets first blood though. If you hide in the shadows, you are only drawing me home. Wow, that's a really nice trade. Really, really nice. Sadly, their jungle is going to be top side and mine's bot side, so we got to back here. If I try to go for a kill, I'm definitely going to get ganked by Nocturne. And even if I have a ward, I could maybe one for one out on that Aurelia, but I'd rather just back. Ignite would have been real good. Ignite would have been a kill there for sure, but it's hard to know that. I think Ignite and TP are re both really good in their own ways. Ignite, if you can snowball lane, is definitely very strong. But if you can't snowball the lane, like if you don't get early prior, it feels kind of bad in my opinion. Nah, that wave is massive. I shouldn't have went for that tread. I need to try to get another back here. Hmm, this is sketchy. Guess I got pretty good sustain though with this call D blood. All right, not bad. He's actually smart, man. People have been letting me get away with that recall lately. That's one of those things where you never know. You never know with diamond players if they're going to cancel that. I would say even in Masters, too. When I was playing versus Master players, you never know if they're actually going to go for that cancel. I would say that's one of those things that's probably like... It's probably literally 50-50 players canceling recalls like some people do it some people just don't do me, have you tried approach velocity on ergot q and e feels good with that rune do you mean do you mean a uh, q and r i have tried that rune a few times yeah it does feel pretty good it does feel pretty solid She got the level six right there. An ally 
Champ is scary, man. At least we don't die. They have a flash advantage on me now, though. Gonna have to be pretty careful for the next four minutes. Yeah, that's true, Spartan. I think the I think the lore and like the artwork in this game is just super well done, actually. Like, super, super well done. Ooh, she got a pickaxe, too. This lane is not, not good right now, man. Let's try to push while we have the level lead on her. He's going to be 7 any second. I need to get out of this lane. Dude, so close. Getting a flash is good, though. I'll take it. You know, I'm honestly really surprised she doesn't die for that play. Jumping into the minion wave like that. That was really greedy by her. This guy is so greedy. I think I might be dead, though. Ah. That's unfortunate. I was really banking on that being closer in the 1v1 if she's going for the invade. Um, on the bright side, I think I can kill her in two minutes once I have my flash. Because her flash will be down for another like two minutes after my flash comes up. Hey, good to see you, mashed potato. Hello, rinse win. Yeah, we should be fine in this lane. Karthus got my shutdown, too. Hmm. Is Nocturne waiting in that bush? Why did she just leave that wave? Very strange. Oh, he's on Shelly, that's why. I might just have to go do Krugs here. Yeah, I'll get Nocturne ganked if I stay, or if I try to push here. You know, even with Nocturne bot right now, I don't know if I can break this freeze. That really is a little bit stronger right now. I might have a big minion wave, but that's actually good for Irelia, because she can just keep her 5 stack. That's the problem, man. Having a big minion wave doesn't really help for Cyrelia. It's actually bad. Most of the time. Where will they run when the whole city burns? 
Ah, uh, I knew it. I hesitated. There goes my kill window that I had. I feel so anxious this match. Need to just chill, man. Play more controlled. Nice. Good dive. Really good time to dive there. Not only on that wave, but also... Ooh, that shield. That would have been a kill to Karthus, by the way, because of his ulti. Alright, sweep. But yeah, not only a good time to dive, obviously, just because of the wave, but also we saw everyone bot side. It's a solid buy. They got a skill in that lane for sure. Definitely a losing lane for my bot lane. They should skill into the game still though. Have I ever considered building full tank on Urgot or full, full lethality? I've done full lethality a few times. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Wow. They don't even need the Nocturne ulti. Blade of the Rune King Spike. 400 damage. He literally just got it. 400 damage. Sorry for breathing, I guess. That's crazy, man. We've been playing this line good. She's 0 1 and gets a Bork Spike. <laughs> Just straight up 100 to 0. Through my E as well. And I got the stun on E. And I had conditioning too. That's mind blowing. Conditioning, steel caps. Literally took a mid game scaling rune and it still just doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I've done full without here, got that. It is a fun it is a fun build. They're going to play it like this. Nocturne just waiting. Yeah, we're going to have to group a lot this game. I think playing the 1v1 is really bad into their team comp. We got to try to play team fights. It's hard right now because we, we need bot lane to scale. We really need our team comp to scale right now. Dude, how is this guy in the perfect spots every time? Nice, that's the exact play we needed. We could get a Shelly too, that'd be nice.
Get some vision down too, man. That's what we need. Try to spot this Noctane before he ulties. Alright, I'll get one more wave and then make my way to Drag. I Maybe. You. Hey, thank you for the resub, Rincewin. Much appreciated, dude. Yeah, it's really tough this game because not only the Nocturne ulti, but also the Karthus ulti. I feel like that's such a good combo, you just don't really see it that much because they're normally both jungle, right? Oh man, I don't think we're going to make it in time. Their jungle's really fed. Anytime jungle's fed, it pretty much it pretty much makes the meta early game impossible Ooh, nice dude if we get drag too oh god they have so much damage i got t tunneled on the drag hp mm, okay my bad At least we got the Nocturne. It's really good for the game. I re That's already third drag for them, man. I really wanted a drag. Would Force of Nature be good this game? Mm. No, probably not. I mean, I don't think it'd be terrible, but I have to focus uh, armor. I have to build more for that Aurelia Nocturne, because I'm going to be dealing with those champs a little bit more than Karthus. Than Dude, it's so hard to play against this. Like, I, I can't push waves. It's really hard to play because we can't group either. If we could group, it would be easy peasy. We can try to group, but it's just like, we do need to scale at the same time. But maybe this goes well. Kill this Irelia. Nice. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. I guess we can win group right now. If we get a Yasuo Diana combo like that, for sure. Dude, that combo is so good. Yasuo Diana. Need to get this call cashed in. I need to get this call cashed in, but I really don't want to side wave. Dude, I literally feel like I'm gonna die if I try to go for one wave, man. I'm risking it.
You can tell they're splitting up way more now. If they stack up, it's free win. Do I want to go for Elsewhere this game? Haven't really thought about it. Probably, though. Yeah, Frostfire sounds good. Oh, it sounds okay. Nothing else sounds like super good here. Wow, they wasted Shelly. Best fear of my life. The Wombo combo. I hope we get drag. Ooh, nice. That's the power of the flash on Ergo right there, dude. That was without Yasuo ulting on the Diana ulti, by the way. I don't know if Chem Tank is needed this game. They're really short range. I think I'd rather have the little bit of HP. I've been liking Chem Tank, but I've only been doing it if I really need the range. Or like the gap close. Dude, this game is so weird, because, like, I can't go side lane. I feel so starred for gold. Which I guess is fine. We kind of have the core build. I'll be useful no matter what at this point. I'm going to take this. I can sell my call. A big spike of HP here. Yeah, Chem Tank is less HP than Frost. I think it's like 200 HP less once you have full build. Because you're only getting 50 HP with Chem Tank and you're getting 100 with Frost. Also, the, the little, like, slow field thing is kind of nice on Frostfire into, like, shorter range team comps. You're also giving up that when you get Chem Tank. We just play for Baron. That's all we got to do right now. Play for team fight, play for Baron. Can I win against Nocton? I really a 1v2? Maybe. I don't know if it's worth it to take the chance though. That blast gun spawned. That spooked me, man. A little jump scare. Even Urgot got scared. She has TP advantage. I really wish I had TP right now. I hope they just get out with the buffs. That's best case scenario. Shouldn't be able to end the game, right? Nah, there's no way.
Number one thing right there is just not dying. If I die, they can maybe go for the end. If my team starts dying, like, one by one in that situation, sometimes that happens. Team just gets a bunch of tempo. And I want to be up for drag. Hey, playing against this Nocturne ulti. Oh, just ran out. They only have Karthus. Is he soloing Drake or something? There he is. GG's. Yeah, honestly, the one counter against their team comp was literally just grouping. Once we started doing that, you guys saw how the game just completely turned around. It felt really weird not to side lane too much. And I was getting pretty starved in gold, but that's just the way we play it. Um, Honestly, dude, that team was pretty chill for like losing early game. Ninety nine LP.